your advanced glycation end products. So this is one thing that you really can kind of modify right now to make your joints feel better, to make your bones work better, your tendons and ligaments, to have your muscles stronger and to reduce um, thick and um, not functioning art arteries and veins uh, because this is where these monster proteins deposit on all of those structures. So basically you wanna avoid forming them. So you gotta maintain a good blood glucose. There's an Israeli study that says 87 is really the highest it should be. Now, of course, the normal in America is like 95 to 100, but really we should shoot for lower than that um, so that we don't have an excess of glucose running around because that causes a whole host of problems to include the formation of advanced glycation end products. And then you don't wanna eat them. Where do you find them? Processed meat, anything cooked in high heat in a dry environment and processed foods. So Americans eat a ton of advanced glycation end products on the standard American diet. Now, hopefully a lot of you are now on the Mediterranean diet or something like that. Um, but basically this is why processed meat is so bad for you. Not only are you forming heterocyclic amines and cancer causing molecules, but you're also forming a bunch of the advanced glycation end products in that processed meat. Then you eat it and they have proven that it transfers from the intestines into your body. So avoiding dietary ages and then avoiding the formation of them by keeping your blood glucose good is another way you can feel a lot better. And this is why one of the reasons diet is so important. Good. Does it include the air fryer? Is that a question? Mm -hmm. We have a question. Does this include the air fryer? I think so, yes. So I stopped using the air fryer a long time ago um, because that by definition is high dry heat and I think it forms more advanced glycation end products in food. Boil anything with water or if you marinate food before you cook it, like meat, an acidic environment forms less of these. Slow, low heat and a lot of um, fluid or humidity or water helps reduce the formation of these as well. Barbecue? We have another question, is barbecue okay? No, in, a, in short, because not only are you getting the carcinogens from the smoke, but it, that too is high dry heat. So I know I'm gonna, probably people are turning off the monitors right now because I'm saying no barbecue and no air fryers. But just think about it. Once you start to think about it, and if you start eating foods that aren't cooked that way, I, you're gonna feel better. And that's what we all want, right? We wanna feel better and have cognitive sharpness. We don't wanna be glommed up with all of these little monsters running around us. So dietary ages, here's your grill picture. Probably one of the worst things you can do, processed red meat on a grill. I probably would not eat that. Um, if you are gonna eat it, once a month at the most, I would suggest, and then take a lot of antioxidants to try to clean it up. Um, diabetes increases the formation of age. So some people call diabetes an accelerated aging syndrome, okay? So I have a lot of diabetic patients with a lot of connective tissue problems, thick, tight Achilles tendons, wounds that don't heal, damaged joints, more arthritis, achy, creaky, and it's because they form these advanced glycation products at a much higher rate than you or I if you don't have diabetes. And so all of their tissues are thicker, they're not elastic, there's too many abnormal crosslinks between the fibers of the collagen in a tendon. So tendon's supposed to be like a nice smooth braided rope. Well, when you get these aberrations and alterations, those braids don't move properly and that's when you get stiff and achy and you just can't, you know, you can't reach behind your shoulder blades and you can't put your bra on this way, things like that. All of that is advanced glycation end products. They just happen more in diabetics, why? Because there's more sugar around. Next. So, what are ages and aging have to do with each other? <clears throat> we just talked about it. Not only it stiffens tissues, we know that, right? Because you get these abnormal depositions of these monster proteins in your collagen or your connective tissue, but they also induce the formation of more free radicals. There's actually a receptor, the RAGE receptor for advanced glycation end product. When, these, when they glom onto that receptor, it induces, a, just spews forth damaging cytokines and proteins and inflammation. Um, and so not only are you gonna have abnormal collagen with abnormal crosslinks and stiffer tissue, but you're inducing damage all around by having too many of these monster proteins. So this is something actionable that we can control now, right? We can reduce the levels of these in our body just by sort of changing what we eat and maintaining our blood glucose. We have, a question. We have, a, we have another question. Yeah, so the question is, roasted vegetables on high heat. 
So I think ages will form, but it's not going to be as many as with animal protein. So these really form mostly in animal proteins, okay? Um, and it's still better to eat a vegetable than to not eat a vegetable. So if you roast with a high polyphenol olive oil on high heat for like, what, 20 minutes or so, that's probably fine. Um, it's still going to be better for you than bacon, for sure. Um, so think of this more like high dry heat processed foods like potato chips, Cheetos, formula, believe it or not. A lot of baby formula is made this way. Powdered milk, things like that. And then um, ham bacon, burgers, anything fast food, obviously, is going to have a ton of these. Um, so probably one of the best things you can do for yourself if you haven't already done it, because probably if you're watching this webinar, you're in tune with your own health. Um, so sort of a self-selected po population, right? Just stop going to fast food restaurants, period, full stop. And that, by definition, is going to probably add a few years to your life and make you feel a lot better, because you're not going to get these. The other thing about fast food restaurants that nobody talks about, and I would love to find a way to study this, is they reuse the same vat of oil, especially now because of inflation, over and over and over and over and over and over again. Well, every time you fire that up, and they're using cheap oil. They're not using extra virgin olive oil with um, you know, extra polyphenols like I buy. They're using the cheapest oil they can find, and then they reuse it, and they keep oxidizing it with the heat. So there's going to be even more ages. So roasted vegetables, I would eat that all day long before I'd go to Cane's or something like that. So next slide. That brings me to another point. All of this information I'm giving you, it, the whole point is just to teach, right? But any little thing you do is going to be better than not doing it. So if you want to eat a roasted vegetable and you aren't going to eat a vegetable otherwise, roast that vegetable, please because you need the polyphenols and the dietary fiber, the flavonoids and the other things in that vegetable, okay? So the advanced glide, I just pulled this up, a random slide um, kind of made up, but there's a lot of companies coming out with different things to test for these. There's not a great test for it. I've been looking at a, a way to test it on the skin of the forearm from a Danish company. It's really the only one I could find, um, but it's extremely expensive. And of course, the American healthcare system doesn't care about this, so it's not gonna be covered looking for this. Um, but just to show you, I think probably most of the work in this is going to be done in the cosmetics facial rejuvenation field because that's where you see it the most, wrinkles and damaged collagen in your face. So next. All right, so this just shows you the process of the formation. We'll just quickly run through this. You got glucose and protein, which then forms something called a shift phase, and it's still kind of reversible at this stage. Then it goes to what's called an amidori product, which is just another reaction. So it's a kind of a three-step reaction. And then you get the permanent irreversible advanced glycation product. And that is showing you how it cross-links two molecules of a collagen. So it gloms onto one and then cross-links to the other. And then those collagen molecules can't move. That's why you get stiff and achy and don't feel so good and your cartilage can't heal itself. So it's kind of like a molecular clock because it loves long-lived fibers. So it's going to go to the longest-lived collagen. So because if you have a low turnover product in your body, like the Achilles tendon or your lens in your eye, any level of glucose in your blood is going to have more time to form these products. And so that's why we get cataracts, okay? Eye lenses form these. That's why we get Achilles tendon ruptures in midlife, somewhere between 40 and 60. That's why everybody's rotator cuff tears. And I, I mean like everybody is it's very high levels in asymptomatics at a certain age. It's because over time, these deposit create irregular connective tissues that don't work right or are dysfunctional, more prone to tearing and cannot repair themselves et cetera, et cetera. Next. Hold on, okay. So age accumulation, I think, is another key to aging that we do have the power to control. And you're still gonna eat some of these, you're still gonna form some of them, but you can kind of control them a lot. So another way they form is exogenous toxins, right? Like pollution and whatnot, which also induces reactive oxygen species. But basically, being in an excess energy state or weighing too much, not exercising to try to clear them out of the tendons, and then uh, different factors that go into how many processed foods you eat, and that could be environmental, geography, socioeconomic, just, you know, what do you know about processed foods? Things like that. So you could control a lot of this and then help your body to clear it out and clear it up by giving it the right tools. So give your body antioxidants, give your body anti-inflammatories that are natural. Don't feed your body bacon too many times, 
okay? Things like that. And we can control the level of ages.